In this video, I'm going to be discussing the role of nerve testing in nerve injuries. I'm Dr. Manveer Bhatia, a senior neurologist with more than 30 years of experience, particularly in the field of nerve testing. So what does nerve testing really tell us? It tells us about the continuity of the nerve fiber. It also gives us an idea about the number of fibers which are in that particular nerve and thus having uh, impact or effect on the muscles the nerve supply. So let's come back to the nerve injury. Where does it lead us with the nerve injury when, when we do testing for this? So it can tell you the type of nerve injury, meaning that is this just a stretch, a pressure, or has it been a complete cut? It can also tell you the site, that means where along the course of the nerve has it really been damaged. For example, if you have a foot weakness, that means you're not able to lift the toes up, this could be an involvement at the ankle, at the knee, at the hip, or even at the spine. So this testing can allow us to find out the exact site. And if there is an external injury, we can match it and see, does it confirm to that? So thus, at the onset, it can tell you type of injury, site of injury. It can also tell you about the outcome. What is going to be the likely outcome? Is there chances of a good recovery, partial recovery, or no recovery? This test is also helpful on a follow-up meaning that if done after a few months, maybe three to six months after the first test, it can inform about, again, the type of injury, site of injury, and the outcome. It can be used to assess a post-intervention, such as some surgery, to really understand is the nerve beginning to regenerate. So I hope this has been helpful for all those who want to know the usefulness of doing a nerve test along with the needle EMG to evaluate a nerve injury. It can tell you the type of injury, the area where it has been damaged and what is going to be the outcome. Thank you so much for your attention.